All right, Stockmaster fans, continuing with the Don Dollar movies and the last movie in the Serial Psychos com compilation. It's called Blood Masker. Let's watch. Don't ask any questions. This is Rizzo, played by George Stover. He ends up getting kicked out of the bar. And beat up for good measure. That owner or bouncer who kicked him out. Rizzo gets his revenge. And he goes back and kills the woman, too. This is Rizzo and his group. Dead, huh? hey, cool it. All of you. I ain't kissing nobody's ass, especially hers. Well, you kiss Rizzo, it's your business. Callie, get her out of here. These are a couple of bikini babes. That's Chrissy on the left now. Rizzo and his gang of thugs, uh, walked into a video store and if you look closely there you'll see it again besides the Kim Carnes t-shirt this guy's wearing Rizzo is holding a box of the Don Dollar film Galaxy Invader in his hands there it is well they're they're not they're not there for Galaxy Invader they're there to uh, rip off the place Yep, they shot the owner's daughter. Why she didn't shoot her gun first, I don't know. Anyway, they pull over this woman. We found out her name is Liz later on, Elizabeth. They're gonna carjack her. And now they're going to Liz's house. Our bad guys have now taken over this house. Everything's fine. The place is dead. No folks. Yeah, we'll keep your lines open just the same. Anyway, a fight ensues. Rizzo and one of his uh, partners aren't getting along. Family seems to enjoy this. Liz decides to take a shower. Rizzo decides that he has to watch her. And I think she's kind of enjoying teasing him. In fact, she even uh, comes on to him and then bites him. Next thing you know, the two of them are making out. But who's the aggressor here? Watch this. And let's lick that blood. Anyway, the gang finds a body in the family's trunk. Something. What is 
Turns out these gang of criminals may have bitten off more than they could chew. So the girl takes off. She was apparently a kidnapped victim of the family. And now father's shooting the criminals. So who are these people? They're cannibal family. But do we trust that girl, Chrissy? She says they're all crazy. I don't know, but in the meantime, a couple of others are taking care of this guy. Speaking of Chrissy, back to her. Nope, can't trust her. She's a cannibal too. Cannibal family's making mincemeat out of our criminals. I think only Rizzo's left. Besides Rizzo, oh, I'm sorry. There was one other guy left besides Rizzo. Even the mama gets in on it. Anyway, Rizzo flees into the woods and he actually survives the night. He didn't survive much longer though. Alright, Rizzo realizes that he's up against a wild family here, so he's going to have to protect himself. So he goes out all Rambo in the woods here, creates a bunch of booby traps, weapons. This is a makeshift mine. How he got all these things together to make such weaponry, I'll never know, but he has. Personally, I think I would have just fled. My favorite weapon of his, a, a saw blade gun. And he just took out Daddy Cannibal. This is Liz. That's the one who he was licking earlier. Liz go boom. But she's not dead. But in spite of Liz blowing up and Sawblade is going into her father, they won't die. So Rizzo takes off running, which is something he should have done hours earlier. I guess he takes off walking. <laughs> and now he's trapped. Our cannibals are poking fun at Rizzo while he's hanging her upside down, and then we have a what the fuck moment. As he struggles upside down, our two cannibals start to rip off their own faces. which apparently is very painful to Rizzo to reveal that they are some sort of monster alien or something. What the hell? Enough of this nonsense. They finally take out Rizzo. Our last scene in the movie. Your girl comes to the cannibal house. Hi. Hi. I'm here about the room for her. Alright, let's 
let's talk about Blood Masker. It's uh, the fifth film in the Don Dohler Septilogy, I guess you could call it. Um, it's a movie I actually have on a pre-recorded VHS tape in the uh, early 2000s. I started going after the Don Dohler movies that I didn't have. I picked up Fiend, and then I found out that he made a more recent one called Blood Masker. He's since made two other ones as well, and I have those as well, and they're coming up soon. So anyway, uh, Blood Masker stars George Stover, who you might recognize from all the other Don Dohler movies he did. In fact, he might be the only actor who actually appeared in every single one of Don Dohler's films that he directed. Uh, Don Dohler used a lot of the same actors and actresses uh, over, over the years, uh, but this one, this guy actually appeared in every single one. Don Liefert was in this also briefly as the um, video store clerk, but I'm not sure he was in every Don Dohler movie. Anyway, uh, this movie here, we have, uh, the, the, apparently there's some Vietnam vets and a couple other people, they're a little group, they decide to uh, hold up a video store and they kill some people there, they rob the place and they go on the run, they end up kidnapping this woman, I think her name was Liz, Elizabeth, and uh, they go to her house and uh, more or less kind of kidnap the whole family. What they don't know is that this family is a family of cannibals. Um, and ultimately, the uh, cannibal family turns the tables on uh, this group, this vigilante group. Now, um, they're kind of led by George Stover, who plays this guy named Rizzo. Uh, they end up killing everybody else but Rizzo. Rizzo manages to escape, and he's out in the woods, and he decides to turn into a Rambo-type guy and creates these uh, weapons with saw blades, and he sets these uh, this mine, this booby trap type thing, and uh, we think he kills the leader of the cannibals as well as Liz, uh, but they end up, they're not dead. They actually uh, pull out their saw blades and stuff later on, and, and they come after Rizzo again, and they end, end up catching him in a trap, like a, like a tree trap type of deal. And then in a what-the-hell kind of moment, uh, they're ab uh, about to kill him. He's hanging upside down from this tree. Suddenly, they start ripping their own faces off, and there's some sort of creature underneath, like they're aliens or something. What the hell? What the hell? I, I don't get it at all. Anyway, they end up ki killing him and stabbing him, and that's it. Um, so the cannibal family lives. They kill everybody. At the end of the movie, there's a last scene with some girl who's hopping up on the cannibal family's porch saying, Hey, I'm answering the ad about the room to rent. And that's how our movie ends. So... Anyway, that is Blood Masker for you. It's a really short movie, 72 minutes long. It moves fairly quickly. No nudity. There is plenty of gore, actually, in this movie, and the gore actually isn't that bad. It looks pretty decent, actually. Uh, typical Don Dollar Fasher, very cheaply made, um, not the greatest acting in the world, uh, soft print. The productions or the quality of the print isn't that great at all, but uh, it is what it is. Um, uh, again, I always think these Don Dollar movies have a little bit of charm to them. At least these first five films do. I don't know about the next two. I guess we're going to find out soon. Alien Factor 2 and uh, the last one they did called Dead Hunt. So anyway, check it out. As far as I know, the only way you can get this movie is on this uh, Serial Psychos uh, compilation here. Uh, this is the last movie I've reviewed. Uh, I've reviewed all six of these now. And uh, maybe it's available on some other, com uh, on this other, some, some other compilation somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, check it out. I'll leave a link down below to Amazon if you want to buy this movie. You can get all these other ones as well, six movies. So... Leave some comments. We'll talk about it. It's called Blood Masker. Watch it. Bye.